people often ask me, if you meet somebody who thinks very differently from you, how do you, how do you get them to change their mind? Well, of course, you can't always get people to change, your, change their minds. But I don't think if you're trying to change somebody's mind about some attitude towards animals, for example, it's no good arguing with them. Because if you argue with somebody, after a bit, they stop listening. And all the time you're talking, they're thinking, how can I, how can I refute this argument? But so you've got to get into the heart. And the only way I know how to get into the heart is to tell stories. At first, the chimps ran away from me. I'm a white ape. Um, there's some people out here who have different colored skin, but we're all the fifth grade ape. That's what we biologically are. But they'd never seen a white one, and so they ran away. And. Um, <laughs> Eventually, they got used to me and I was able to observe them. And I observed this chimpanzee reaching out, picking stems of grass, using them to fish termites from their nest, pick them off. Um, and I observed him picking a leafy twig and stripping off the leaves. In other words, he was using tools, he was making tools. And at that time, it was supposed to be, according to science, only humans that used and made tools. So uh, Louis Leakey, my sponsor, uh, was extremely excited. That enabled him to ask the National Geographic to step in to fund the future research. And he, they not only agreed to do that, but they sent a photographer and filmmaker, Hugo van Lauwek, to record what I was observing about the chimps. Every single day we make some impact on the planet. And if we start thinking about the consequences of the small choices we make, what do we buy? How was it made? Where did it come from? Did it cause suffering to animals? Did it harm the environment? Is it cheap because it was child slave labor or sweatshops in some other country? And we start making ethical choices in what we buy. That's going to start moving towards a better world.